If you continuously strive to make better leadership decisions, watch this video. This little hack might seem trivial, but it's scientifically proven to help you make better decision. It's based on one small idea from Daniel Kahneman, Oliver Siboney, and Cass R. Sunstein's recent brilliant book, Noise, A Flaw in Human Judgment. Hello, everyone. My name is Tim B. Green, and this is Crush It Club, episode 85, Make Better Decisions, episode two. Our brains are actually better at making binary qualitative judgments rather than numerical quantitative judgments. But that's kind of confusing, isn't it? So instead, let's just call this the strawberry scale or the er scale. You'll see why in a minute. So my father grew up with a strawberry patch in his backyard and he taught me the secret to picking delicious strawberries. He says, to get the most delicious strawberries, smell them. It's totally reliable, believe me, I've done it all my life since I learned it. So now imagine, please give me a moment, I'm gonna switch to screen sharing and hope everything works as I practiced. Yay, it worked. Okay, so. Imagine you had five startup companies and you, were, you had the opportunity to invest in them, but really what it came down to is um, you could only invest in one, but you had five to choose from. But that's kind of confusing and complicated. So let's imagine instead that your companies as baskets of strawberries, so you can compare them. Okay, then you go, oh, that's cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rate each one. I'm going to smell the strawberries, the sweet er, er scale, the bet er, er scale means it's a, a really good deal. So, or, or a, a better deal, a better opportunity than the others. So you decide what you're going to do is you're going to smell them and then you're going to rate them from one to five, you're gonna assign a number based on how they smell. Obviously, this is a metaphor for the, the, variables, the variables within that opportunity, but you take them, you take the sweeter deal and you give it a higher number, five being the sweetest deal and one being the worst deal. So you try this, but you kind of find that there's a problem. By the time you're smelling uh, opportunity four and five, you've forgotten what opportunities one, two, and three smelled like. So you scrap that all together and instead you go for something that works rather a lot better. So why is it that we would forget things like that? And it's really quite simple. Uh, why is it difficult to do it that way? because numbers are new in evolutionary terms. They're only about a mere 6,000 years old. Some neuroscientists estimate that it takes somewhere around 20,000 years for our brain's structures and our behavior to evolve and adapt to our current environment. And that wasn't a big deal for most of human history where change was very slow but there's probably been more change within our lifetimes than there has been in all human history previously. So really what this means, and uh, basically what this is, uh, is it's the reason we do things like overeat, despite, despite the fact that there's an abundance of food all around us. Um, our brains just don't know that we can get food in minutes. 24 seven, any kind of food we want is available in minutes, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our brains haven't got that memo yet and probably won't for another 14,000 years. So that's really what it means. We're gonna have to wait 14,000 years, perhaps more before our brains get really good at using numbers. So um, if you don't wanna wait or unless you can wait, you have to use the software you have. 
So the way to do that is to compare pairs instead. Compare this in. Right? Remember, I was talking about the binary, which means two. So binary and qualitative. So let's go there. So here's what you do. You take one of the baskets, any other one, and any other one. So you take the two deals. You put them side by side. You smell this one, and you smell this one. Which one is the sweeter smelling basket? Which is the better deal? Well, if this one's the better deal, you put it here. If this is the better deal, you put it here. So let's say this one is the better deal. So this is sweeter, better, a better opportunity, hence our ER scale. Now you do the same thing again. You know this is sweeter than this. And you take these two and you compare these two. Which of these two is sweeter? Well, it turns out that this one is the sweeter. So you put it there. It goes above this. This is sweeter than this, which is sweeter than this. Then you do it again. You see where I'm going here. It's pretty simple, as I said. scientific -y, but simple and very scientifically validated as being powerful, right? Because in evolutionary history, sweeter strawberries mattered a whole lot more than whether they were 80% sweeter than another strawberry. That didn't matter. The sweetest were the ones we wanted. Okay, so we look at these two. Turns out that this is the sweeter, the better, so it goes there. We look at the last two, we compare them to each other again. Smell this one, smell this one. Turns out that the sweeter deal is this one. So this is the best deal, the next best, the next sweetest, the next sweeter. So least sweet, sweeter, 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 sweetest. I was hoping to actually do this in one video, but because of the way it's turned out time wise, I'm going to make this into two videos. So this is video one of this series, which is make better decisions using neuroscience. That's it for Crush It Club episode 85. Make better decisions. Episode two, part one. My name is Tim B. Green. Bye for now.